Kaylin's family has been living in Minnesota for five years. Before that, they had a hard time making a living. The family decided to immigrate to the U.S. in 2006, when Kaylin was an elementary school student. After six years, the application of EB3 is finally being approved. Carrying on the American dream, the whole family starts a brand new journey in Mystic Land, which they have never touched before. Their first destination was South Dakota. Kelly found her senior aunt as the owner of the restaurant who sponsored the family. Kelly's family has no car and house at that time. The whole family lived in the basement in her aunt's home. Her mom, as a server in the restaurant, used to be blamed by her aunt because of mistakes made it by her poor English. Kaylee's dad not only worked for the restaurant, but also do the housework for covering the rent, cooking, washing clothes for over ten people, and picking up five children every day. Her aunt's family didn't welcome these new immigrants. They treated them as tools instead of family. Kaylee's family was discriminated and disrespected. After several months. Kaylin's family was banished from that house. Kaylin and her little brother found and lived with her cousin Sherry in Virginia. They got on very well each other because Sherry was born in Fuzhou and raised by Kaylin's family there. Sherry's parents moved to the U.S. twenty years ago for running a restaurant and left her child. Sherry in Fuzhou because of limited time for taking care of her daughter, which is a common thing in most of the Fuzhou immigrants did. Kaylin's parents work for another restaurant in another city, having seen her two kids for a year. Kaylin took care of her little brother like a parent for that entire year. He missed her parent, especially on the school event day when every American student invite their family. Because of lack of time for communication with her classmate at school, and she never hang out like American. Gradually, she was discriminated. Then the negativity from the school filled her. She started to cry emotionally that there is no fairness at all. It is not as simple as how much she pays, how good her grade will be. In order to receive the same grade as an American student, she would give up all her interests to look after her brother, and use the little fragmentary time that she saved to study. Her classmate enjoyed their high school event and fancy life. They study when they got time besides events, without any concern about leaving. Kaylin took after her brother without the support from the family. Her classmate did the babysitting for fun, and pocket money. She did it for living. Fairness is based on a stable family, but she never gave up and converted the pressures into impetus. She finally got 4.0 GPA and graduated top ten from high school to Carson. When the family planned to stay in Virginia for a long term and decided to run a new restaurant at the mall. Unfortunately, they were duped by a Chinese old man who has a strong connection between Fujian American Association in Virginia. They signed a fake contract with the original owner, and the owner took the copy of the contract without leaving any evidence from Kaylin's dad. Her dad didn't know the process at that time since she, he only understand a little English. Then her dad transferred up to eighty thousand dollars for future rent and decoration for that restaurant. Because of illegal contract, Kelly's family never owned that restaurant. The original owner took advantage of new decoration, which paid by Kelly's family. Moreover, the owner threatened Kelly's family to move away; otherwise, he would defame the reputation of Kelly's dad through his strong connection. Then every Fujian people there would know her dad asking for unreasonable money from that old man. Facing this unfairness, all the explanation from these newcomers was meaningless, comparing with the experienced landowner. Then they come to Minnesota. 
They took the loan to invest in the freight company, cooperating with other Chinese people. Their family-owned company delivers the Chinese logistic goods from New York, and store in Bloomington warehouse for delivering to the Chinese restaurant in Minnesota, Wisconsin, and Iowa. Facing to a better presence, all the unfairness and difficulties that Caitlin's family has encountered are not that painful anymore. Caitlin said that for a brighter tomorrow, the hardship the family has encountered are worse because they are part of growth. She believes all the difficulties are temporary. As long as they persist, disdain, unfairness, and deceives will all be gone eventually. The brighter future is waiting for her and her family.